we're good to go. Just a point of admin. Um, this is also our Bournemouth um, preview as well. So if you could get those questions in. And I'll have an embargoed section um, for Bournemouth for the writers as well at the end. And we'll start with Kirsty. Nino, welcome back. Thank you. Thank How you. does it feel to be back in the Premier League? And, and what made Nottingham Forest the right move for you? It feels great. It feels great. It's nice to see you all again. Um, big, big chance. Um, very honoured. It's a pleasure to, to be at Forest and be able to manage such a great club with such great history. So I'm delighted. You've not had long here, but from what you've looked at, what do you see are the, the key issues that you need to focus on first to, to turn results around? Yeah, like you say, I just arrived yesterday, very, very, very late. Um, but we had a good training session today. We had a chance to, to be with the players. And more important is the knowledge, I think, um, the chance to, to, to be with them personally, me knowing them, them knowing us as coaching, coaching staff, the ideas. Of course, we have a lot of things to improve, um, if, but at the same time, um, we are motivated to do it. Um, what I found was a good atmosphere among them. I think the players, they are engaged. And now we have to commit ourselves together to improve, to improve things, and it starts Saturday. The owner here has big ambitions. What has been his conversations with you, and what has he told you about his <coughs> expectations for, for this season and beyond? Mm, look, we, we didn't mark ourselves um, big expectations, just uh, uh, on a day-to-day -day process. Um, what he told me that what Steve did here is, uh, is it's huge, uh, getting Forrest back in the Premier League. Fantastic work that Steve and we are trying to, to improve this legacy. That is, it's, uh, it's amazing. You've obviously got experience in the Premier League, probably very different experiences from your time at Wolves and then, of course, a much shorter time at Tottenham. What do you take from those experiences? What did you learn from those two experiences? We learn everything. It's uh, ourselves in, in life. It's, we learn everything every day. Uh, like you said, different situations. Um, what we did in Wolves uh, is totally different than uh, what happened in, in Tottenham. Um, now in Saudi Arabia, it was a new experience for me, learning process for me, new, new culture. So I think in life we are always learning. And um, what I expect is to all this experience that I've had is try to help now Forrest and the players, especially the, fla the players, give them solutions help them to become better players. You've had a lot of success in your time, but it was a difficult time at, at Tottenham, a very short time. After that, do you feel that you've now got something to prove again back in the Premier League with Forrest? No, I think we have to prove, uh, in football, we have to prove ourselves every day. Us as, as coaches, as managers, the players, every, everybody, everybody's. It's a constant pressure to, to improve and to I want to say proof. I think I don't. I, what I expect is to, to help, to help, try to transmit what uh, my knowledge and my ethic work to the players so they can become better, a better team. This is what we want. Have there been conversations? We've got January around the corner. This club has made a lot of signings over the last few transfer windows. Have there been any conversations yet about what you might want in January and how? much money you might get and how many signings you might want to make? Look, um, the only ones that can and should improve things, it's us that are here now. So what I count is, what I expect is the players that are here in the building that solve the situation. Then we think about the rest. But now it's who's inside and it's important. And are you excited by the potential of this club? Obviously, the first season back for a long time in the Premier League, last time around. Are you excited about where you could take it? And have you got any visions of, of where you might be able to take this club? I think you know me enough to, and you expect my, my answer. I only focus on tomorrow now. 
we have a, a training session tomorrow that we have to prepare against uh, tough against a, a game against a tough team, Bournemouth. So it's tomorrow. Let's think about tomorrow. Well, thank you, thank and you, it's uh, a pleasure. welcome back. Thanks, Nuno. Cheers. Thank you. Okay. No, no. Hi. Um, you come into an unusual situation. It's not too often that an outgoing manager leaves with huge popularity still among. Most of the time, it's because there are difficulties, but the manager perhaps a change is needed in the supporters' eyes. That isn't necessarily the feeling here. You must be aware of that. And what do you think about the, the situation you're coming into with regard to your predecessor's popularity here? No, and it's fair. It's fair. What Steve did here at Forest is, is amazing. I mentioned before, um, putting Forest back in the Premier League, <coughs> keeping Forest in the, uh, in the Premier League. Um, so it's normal, and that shows how good Forest fans are, the respect that they show for Steve, uh, even though things didn't go well. So that says a lot about our fans. What's your biggest challenge right now, do you think, coming into this role? Play good and win. This is the biggest challenge that we have ahead of us. This is the, this and it's a huge, <coughs> huge challenge. And at the risk of this sounding like another job interview, um, what can you bring to this role, perhaps, that ha isn't already here in, in terms of the previous coach and what they were doing? Look, um, what we can bring is what I tell to you. Try to improve players, uh, help players become better, give them the solutions that they need to compete well, starting on Saturday. So, starting on Saturday, Bournemouth, that's your first challenge. Yeah. I mean, you, you've had a chance to, to look at the Premier League from a distance. What, yeah. what do you make of them and the challenge they will provide here? It's going to be tough. It's a good team. Uh, they improve a lot uh, recently, so we expect uh, a tough game. But um, we are we playing the city ground, and the help of our fans is going to be uh, very important. And we want to play good and compete. And I'm assuming that you've kept a very close eye on the Premier League, yeah. perhaps with the possibility you would return to it. No, not with that idea, just but, but because I enjoy it to see football. Indeed, what do you make of Forest's season so far and, and the challenge you have generally ahead of you? Uh, look, to compete in the Premier League is very hard. We know that, you know that. So um, I think Forest started well this season. Then for different situations, things didn't go well. That's why I'm here. But um, what, uh, what I focus now, we have a good, good group of, of, of players, a squad that needs to, to become better. But uh, I'm happy. I'm happy with the things that, uh, that we have. What I saw today really gives me um, the, the insurance that we are in a good way in terms of, of togetherness. The players work together, they respect each other, and that's the first step. Wish you well. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ian. <laughs> Hi, Nuno. Welcome back to the Hello. Premier League. Thank you. Um, how much did you miss it, and how much has it changed since you were away? Uh, I was involved in another situation, so I didn't have time to, to, to miss. Um, but I, what I saw, the game is changing. I think you all realize that uh, the game is changing, the intensity. Um, it's higher now, I think, compared to, to the last, last seasons. And um, the level is always great in terms of, of players and managers. So um, not big changes in terms of, of what is the, the, the atmosphere around the Premier League. That's always the what, what, what we, we think more. But the intensity of the game, uh, ball possession is teams are increasing their ball possession so it's like telling you we have to 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 go fast and and try to adapt to this to this new 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 situation or VAR uh, look I, I think you know me I don't focus too much on that huge respect for their for their work what we want here in forest is that things are clear so I don't expect too much I hope not too much VAR situations when you bought walls up to the Premier League yeah. <coughs> the first season everyone was saying this is the best team ever to be promoted out of the Championship into the, into the Premier League the style of football was, was, was brilliant obviously Ruben Neves was at the heart of that 
you have got a couple of players who were involved with you at Wolves yeah. here in Morgan Gibbs White and Willie Bolly. Will that help you? Yeah, of course, of course. It helped today, you know, having players that we already manage that know our philosophy, they can transmit our ideas to the teammates. Um, happy to, to meet them again. Morgan is a father now, uh, so he's a man. Uh, we found him with 16 years old there. We, we grow together, uh, Bolly the same, so um, it's great to have him back. And it's a big squad you've got here, isn't yeah. it? Been a, there's been a lot of players come in the last couple yeah. of years. Yeah. In terms of, of numbers, I have to be honest with you, um, um, I, I never managed a squad of, of 30 players, so that in that part is a challenge for us also. Yeah, I remember you liked, you liked yeah. a small yeah. squad. Didn't yeah, you? yeah. Is that going to be a challenge as well, then? I mean, because <laughs> some players might not play for it. No, but uh, for the players now, is a new chance for everybody. This is what I told them. It's a it's an opportunity for players that uh, before didn't, didn't didn't play. It's a new new chance for everybody. So my door is open for everybody. What I want is everybody involved, everybody committed, so we can have more and um, more options. It can make us stronger. Just a couple more. Fuzzy on Bournemouth. Um, Unusual circumstances last week in their game with Luton, but the week before they won at Manchester United. Yeah. And Donny Riola has really got them sort of playing some, some good football right now. Not an easy team for you to be facing first up. There's no easy team. So there's no easy team, honestly. Uh, but we're going to face a good team, a good team. But like I said, to we have to focus on ourselves. Our priority now must be on ourselves and, uh, and compete well. But uh, we are optimistic. Finally, the most important question, message to the fans. Thank you before. I know the city ground, the atmosphere of the fans <coughs> is, is amazing. And what we expect at 3 o'clock Saturday is their support. Welcome back, Nina. Cheers, thank you. Thanks, Ian. Mark, please. Hi, Nina. Hello. Good to see you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You've spoken about the fans and you spoke about Steve Cooper very positively. Yeah. Is there any part of you that feels that you may have to win some or the majority of fans over in the next few games? Look, uh, that's part of, of football. Uh, fan judges ourselves, judges us for what we achieve. But um, more than anything is what they're going to see, what, to, what, what they're going to see. And what I can promise to them is that an organi organized team that's going to give everything that they have in the, in the pitch. And that's... I hope that fans can see that starting on Saturday. A few years ago, your Wolves side knocked out the owner's Greek side in the Europa League. Did you have any kind of uh, friendship or relationship with him as a result of, of Wolves being in Europe and in Greece at that point? Mm, yesterday, when I met them, we didn't speak about that. Yes, there are so <laughs> many issues that we have to address <laughs> that we didn't spoke about that. You helped to establish Wolves as a Premier League club again. Yeah. As I mentioned, you took them into Europe. How difficult is it? Because that's I suppose the stability that fans want for Nottingham Forest, how difficult is it to establish a promoted team in the first couple of years as a, as a Premier League club? It's very difficult. That's why I praise uh, Steve, because I know I've been there, how, how hard it is to, first of all, achieve the promotion from, from Championship and then to establish and, and be sustained in the Premier League. That's why I think the legacy of, of Steve is, is so important. And you yourself, coming into this job over the busy Christmas period. Yeah. Just how intense, how challenging will that be for yourself and your staff? It's a it's a special moment for 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 football. It's, it's the only place in the world that we we play in this in this in these moments of Christmas. But it's a special moment for for everybody. <coughs> but tough, tough for us as professionals, and very tough for the players. 23, 26, and 30. Uh, it's very demanding. So. We're going to need every player possible. Thank you, Nuno. Good Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Cameras off, please. No more photography. Oh, apologies, Jonathan. Hi, hi Nuno. You okay? Hello. Do you have any regrets about how things ended at Spurs? You were only Sorry? Given, do you have any regrets about how things ended at Spurs? You were only given 10 games. No, no regrets. No regrets. Um, it happened. It happened. Um, was a pleasure to to be in, uh, at Spurs. Uh, things didn't go well, so we move, we move, we move forward. But no regrets, no regrets. 
And you mentioned Morgan Gibbs White. Yeah. How has he developed as a player since you had him at Wolves? Yeah, I think he's better now. I think he's better now. He was young. He, the talent was there, and I think Steve managed to 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 put Morgan in a very very good level. But like I always say, there always things to improve. And um, but Mor Morgan is is achieving the right moment to to make the next step. He's more mature. Um, the talent is there, so it's up to us to, to try and, and make it better. Thanks, John. Thank you. Thanks, John. Okay, cameras off now, please, and no more photography. Thank you. <laughs> Written section initially. This 